Hey guys, uh, this is part two. I didn't want to make that first video too, too long. I know I got a, into it a little bit. It was like nine minutes. So I don't want to make these like four hour videos because I find people tend not to pay attention to them for too long. So uh, moving on, um, what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, going through a Cisco practice exam and I'm, uh, you know, kind of explaining answers in layman's term and how to figure out the questions. So in this question, a user in an enterprise network sits at her PC and connects to a web server inside the enterprise by entering the URL, you know, http.example.payroll.html into the browser's window and pressing enter. Which of the following answers are true and actions taken by the user's PC? Okay, so for answer A, the user the, the PC uses a hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, to get the files that comprise the requested web page. So clearly, if, you've, if you're watching these videos, you have somewhat of an interest in networking, and you know that HTTP is clearly stated right at the starting. Okay, so that's the protocol that's used to connect to the web, which is a TCP request and that is what's used to you know get to the the website here so we can hit that for sure I'll be all the text after the double forward slash in the URL in the question is considered to be the server's host name and is used in the DNS request to find the server's IP address so at first glance this question seems promising because yes, www.example, not www, but example.com is the DNS. There will be a DNS record on their server to convert uh, example.com. But payroll.html, that's just a specific file on example.com. It's not, there's no URL to that, like, so like that would it was not there's no IP address for DNS to map to payroll.html it would map to example.com or let's say microsoft.com it's not gonna map you to uh, tech support microsoft dash tech support it's gonna just Microsoft okay if you guys have ever opened up a DNS too I didn't have my virtual machine running right now I can show you but you would see that it maps uh, host names to IP addresses and vice versa. So that's wrong because it says all the text after the double slash. Okay. So see the user's action by entering the URL and pressing enter may result in multiple HTTP GET requests being made to the server. So that is a pretty much giveaway too, because it's going to issue you know GET request just to get this. Uh, website so it's going to get the website then it's going to issue more get requests to get the payroll.html so yes that that seems right and if any packets sent by the server are lost in transit http causes the server to resend the data and no that's that's not true uh, that like tcp doesn't take care of that so that's not a, a good answer so we can hit answer and you are correct so if you want you can pause it and read over the the explanation but we're gonna move on to the next question hey guys uh, you know what I figured while I was uh, preparing that question here in the packet tracer I would uh, show you guys about rip version 2 because you might see it in your in your configs and just how to set it up uh, the answer is going to take it into a little more detail. So right now I'm about to set up RIP version 2 on this middle router here. And I've listed everything this time into the same networks as the, uh, as the uh, question here you can see. You know, so I got the, the 32, the 128, 64, uh, 0, 96 networks. I got it all set up the same. So I'm going to issue RIP version 2 on this middle router here. So what you want to do is go into config, uh, global config. 
and then you want to issue a router rip hit enter uh, version 2 to make it version 2 and then you wanna it's very simple all you gotta do now is display your networks so for router 2 the networks for rip would be so let me show you here so that's a network that's a network and that's a network okay so those are the networks you have to display for this router because it's in the middle if it was this router here you would just display this network and this network for this one you display these three so you just simply go network right. uh, and then you want to issue the network IDs so I've wrote I've written them already down here or you can look at the question here and we can issue these three networks right here okay so network 10.25.67.128 no subnet mask just the ID and then networks 67.64 and then network 82.113.0 and then hit end or uh, exit end and then copy run start just to save the file and that's it for setting up rip pretty much so now I'm just gonna finish off the configuration and we'll answer this question alright so now that I've finished setting it up we're just gonna uh, issue some tests here just to see that it is working so from let's say computer B here I'm gonna issue a ping to this network here or this computer so 10. 25.67.34 okay perfect so my routing is working let's check from one side of the network all the way to the other side of the network so ping 10.25.67.34 and that's working alright so now we tested rip so on router C it wants us to uh, check the uh, debug IP rip so we can uh, end this and go debug IP rip and now you can see is it just it's kind of displaying our statuses here I'm just going to let this go for just a, a minute here Alright, so to um, end your debug command here, because it'll keep running, you just want to issue a no debug IP rip. And you'll see here debugging is turned off. Alright, so reading this file there, I just let it run for a little bit. So reading the file, I've stopped it here. And we're going to go through the file just so you guys aren't confused and you can see how to read this, this file here. Um, I'm going to try and keep both of these images up so you can see. Uh, so what it's saying right here is uh, router rip received version 2 update from 82.113.1 on serial 000. So what that is telling you is it received a update on this port. okay? And the update is telling you that uh, network 32 which is this network here is two hops away and what that means is just think of it as routers so you're standing here and that network is one two routers away okay and the same with this so network 64 which is this network is one hop away so again you're standing here and you'll you're one hop away one and network 128 which is this network is one hop away so same thing this one so when you think of rip and it's telling you what it's gonna see from the next router just kind of think of standing here at your router and it's not gonna display 
um, connections that are directly connected because it knows that so it's going to display the next connections from the router you're connected to you, you kind of follow me like for instance this router the middle router would only receive network updates for this network and sorry about the circle but it'll and this network because it's connected to this one and it's connected to this one and it's connected to this one okay and what rip is is it just it'll update the route path for you so for instance on this network as you see me uh, set up rip we issued the, the the networks here so once I initiated that it sent out rip updates to its neighbors hey guys I got uh, I'm just letting this router here know that I'm connected to the 64 network and the 128 network thanks you know stuff like that so when you look at the question here it's uh, you can totally take out um, host addresses as RIP is only concerned about networks so if you're familiar with your subnetting here in dash 27 what that is is it's a 224 subnet mask and with that you know that your network goes up by 32 so you can right away take out this answer because 33 is a host network on 62 uh, 96 okay so what you're looking for is the 96 okay and as you can see in your router you don't have an update for that because the 96 network is directly connected right here to router C so you won't you won't see that either and then uh, 129.0 well we don't have an I in a network there in this diagram so that's out and 10 0 0 0 0 that's not even in here so you can clear that out of there rip is only concerned about networks so the answer would be 10.25.67.128 router C got an update on serial 000 on this port here that the network 128 is one hop away so we can hit answer and there we go you answered this question correctly so moving on